Forse birra monai con i gat, dalle duotta son le ciappa, nu go beva spaite son. Voi, 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 Welcome to this musical presentation and conversation, and after that, a concert in the cathedral. My name is Elisabeth Misvar, and I have with me my son, Trygve Misvar, uh, and we are both singers. We just uh, heard you. Trygve, tell me, what did we hear? What we just heard was the yoik of Matilda Abrahamsen. And it is also known as a love yoik. Mm. It is a sea sammy yoik. And as you know, a yoik is a traditional form of song in Sami culture, where you use your voice to describe a situation, uh, maybe a person or an animal, or it could be an object or maybe the nature, landscape, for example. Mm. This uh, Si Sami Yoik brings back a lot of memories for me. The first time I heard it, it was my aunt, my aunt Antona, your grandmother's older sister. She was joiking Matilda's joik, but I didn't recognize it as a joik then. Uh, why, why do you say that? Well, the sea sami joik is different from traditional joik, uh, which has mm. the traditional joik has few or no words, uh, few notes, usually three to five notes, and the vocal sound is different from regular singing. And the sea sami yoik is more like a carol. Mm. Still, it has elements 
from other types of yoik. This kind of yoik is almost extinct. Yeah. And because of that, especially, I am truly grateful that you have taught me this, but also other uh, yoiks, especially uh, sea sami yoiks. Mm. Mm. And it makes me happy that you want to bring our cultural heritage forward. But you also have recorded some yoiks, so let's take a listen to that. Okay, here comes the yoik of Andesh Andeshan. He felt so bad. He was lovesick. He didn't want to eat, to drink, or anything. Well, he didn't even want women. neither you or I speak the Sami language fluently. No, we, we don't, sadly. And uh, you know a little. You have been starting to, to study the language and uh, trying to, to learn it. And uh, me, myself, I, I just know a few words. And it's, it's, it is sad, really, that we have lost so much of our language and history. Mm. Um, you have told me this before, but maybe you can remind me again. Why wasn't my grandma allowed to speak her mother tongue when she was growing up? Well, uh, the Norwegian government had an official policy. Uh, they wanted to assimilate non-Norwegian speaking native populations into a uniform Norwegian population. They didn't want us to be Sami people mm. with a Sami language. We should be all Norwegian and only Norwegians. So my mother and her family, our family, became victims of the assimilation. My older aunt and uncles spoke the language, but not the younger siblings like my mother, your grandmother. But my aunt Antuna 
she taught me a little Sami language and she translated a lullaby from Norwegian to Sami for me in 1980 and I still sing it. When you were was a little boy in 1997, the king of Norway, his majesty, King Harald V, made an official apology on behalf of the government to the Sami people, becoming the first representative to do so. And he said, I have to read, the state of Norway was founded on the territory of two peoples, the Sami people and the Norwegians. Sami history is closely intertwined with Norwegian history. Hmm. Today, the situation is luckily uh, so much better for, for the Sami people. And for us, it is, it is important to revitalize our culture and also our language, which we, in a way, do through our music and uh, by trying to, to learn a few words, a, a sentence or two, or, yeah. You have recently been working with uh, two northern Norwegian songs. You have translated them uh, into Sami, uh, Si Sami dialect, the, the dialect of Sami language that my grandma and your mother spoke. Mm -hmm. The songwriters of the first song is Ola and Kari Bremnes, and the song is called Edu Nur. In our Si Sami dialect, we say Lekko Davin Davilis. The other song, is written by Tonje Unsta, and it's called Aror Alena, Mon Suon Okto. Let's take a listen. Vissa att man har något som lejor 
tashan Il a vissa son olle Dan fjerga mai son galkai Wainan tjuevga i famlis Juhti me gjera sajaj Na do njelje minuta beren ju atsi Vanes, vo 
Sperte guai occhi ambo, mon sua noctu. Vai na mera iara vesapi, na mon sua noctu. Ius mugieras le havin los asuhkamin, go mon indiere gos mon le. Mon adda nofta sani, mon aigo naik su. Dift moria od at kadelida, ius mun vailu jurda ja guaulu, na mun le nokto mordis, mun tjeran kalgan mahtan, ja su. that I am proud of our traditional Sami clothing from Kvalsund and Reparfjord. In Sami language we call it Gakti or dialect Gafti. Your Gakti is like an old Gakti from 1850. My Gakti is a local family gakti and is made like my grandmother and great-grandmother made it. The gakti tells where your family are from. So we may choose among these gaktis, the mm. eldest and this a little bit newer but the, uh, more special for our family. And uh, it's special with this, we call it holbi the way these colors and material yeah, the, the, is the put pattern. together. The pattern, mm -hmm. yes. 
Gakte is a piece of traditional clothing worn by the Sami in northern areas of uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. Mm. And by wearing these gaktis, we, in a way, take ownership of our Sami identity. And last year, I was fortunate enough to, uh, to take a university course in Joik with Professor Frode Fjellheim. And a small fun fact about this guy, he is actually the composer of the main theme to the Disney uh, movies uh, Frozen, both the first one and the second. Before the assimilation, Joik used to be uh, an oral tradition um, used in the daily life of Sami people. Um, but for many years, you were not allowed to, to Joik in church, in schools, or even in the public. But uh, luckily enough, nowadays, the situation is totally different, and Joik is being revitalized. Mm -hmm. mm. So, let's uh, listen to your Joik composition, Trigva. This Joik is describing the beautiful mountain region we can see here in Buda. After this Joik, we will have a concert in this cathedral with music from the northern part of Norway. Not only Sami music, but also Norwegian music from Norwegian composers from this region, and uh, also some religion folk tunes. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. 